Hey, everyone. Are you all still alive? Kimiyoshi was hanging from the collar, with his head turned up to the ceiling. He didn't even move when I walked in. Maybe he's already dead. Satoko was lying on a cross-shaped restraining table. She glared at me with red and swollen eyes, which must have been that way from crying. I'd wanted to put her on that special restraining table to pound nails into her hands, but Satoko was too small for that. I walked up to Kimiyoshi and poked his body with my toe. There was no response. Uncle Kimiyoshi, are you dead? Murder. Murder! Maybe Satoko would witness Kimiyoshi's last moments. I took a thick knife from the wall and stabbed Kimiyoshi with it. There was no response. Uncle Kimiyoshi, if you're alive, you better tell me, okay? You can't fool me. I walked over to the pulley that was suspending Kimiyoshi. This is your last chance. Are you alive? Let me know if you are. I paused for just a moment, then turned the pulley. Kimiyoshi's body swayed strangely in the air. It looked much more like a corpse like that. Shion-san, why are you doing this? Hmm? Ah, I get it. The door to the huge cave was still open. I bet Satoko had talked to the one in the cell while I was gone. That's how she knows my name. Although, that's actually not my name at all. No, I'm not Shion. I'm the real Mion. The one you all thought was Mion was Shion. It's kind of confusing, huh? If you don't get it, that's okay. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you kill Rika? I had allowed Satoko to watch me take care of Rika's body. Of course, I let her see Rika's neck, too. Rika Furude deserved it. She came over to kill me. I just fought back, that's all. That's not possible! Rika would never do a thing like that! If you don't believe me, that's fine. It's none of your business, anyway. What are you going to do with me? I'm going to kill you. Satoko's eyes went wide. She was expecting my answer, I'm sure, but she still looked shocked. I bet she didn't expect me to state it so openly. I heard the noise of something hitting iron bars echoing in the huge cave. Shion's voice echoed there as well. Sis! No! Don't kill Satoko! I answered her clearly. <laughs> Did you finally realize what you've done? Did you finally realize you didn't do anything to save Satoshi-kun, although you had the power to? That was why he was killed! You ignored millions of chances to rescue Satoshi-kun! Yes, that is your sin! Before even finishing my sentence, I stabbed Satoko's right arm. Her blood started to flow out. This was nothing compared to what happened to Rika Furude. I twisted the knife into Satoko's arm. She bit down hard, crying. Stop! Don't kill Satoko! Let her go! I don't care what you do to me, but please, let Satoko go! Why couldn't you say that for Satoshi-kun? It's too late now! I was the one screaming like you back then! But no matter how loudly I screamed, it never reached them, spared him, or saved him! I want you to go through the same thing I did! I stabbed Satoko's arm repeatedly. But the knife kept hitting her bone. It didn't feel like I was cutting any of her flesh. Stop, Mion. Stop, sis. Stop, stop, stop! Okay, Shion. How about this? I'll tell you how you can save Satoko. Apologize to me 1,000 times. I'll let her go when you're done. How about that? I don't tell lies. If you really apologize 1,000 times, I'll keep my promise. Well, 
How about that? I'm sorry. 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 Shion started to apologize like a broken record. She's so stupid and honest. She's not even thinking of cheating. I bet Shion really will count to 1,000. I stab Satoko in the wrist. There, I felt something hard. I guess I either crushed her bone or scraped it. It must have been extremely painful for her. Satoko screamed. Shion's voice got louder as if trying to overpower that scream. <laughs> All you ever do is cry to get what you want. You think your Nini is going to appear out of nowhere and knock me aside and rescue you, huh? Yeah, right. The knife was still in Satoko's wrist. I slid it toward her elbow. <laughs> Satoko, can you hear me? Hey! Listen to me! I slapped her face several times and made her look at me. Do you know what you've done? Do you know how your very existence is what cornered Satoshi-kun? That's right. That's all you did to him. Every time you cried, Satoshi-kun protected you. But have you ever even considered what kind of a burden you were to him? He wasn't some superhero. He was just like you! He was just a normal human being! Have you ever even thought of what he had to go through because of you? No! You didn't! You never even tried! You just let Satoshi couldn't take care of you! You just leeched off of him! And as he got injured, for your sake, you lived by sucking his blood! You are cursed! How can you still call for him? Ha! <sighs> you are now going to pay for your sin. With my help. Cry as much as you want. Scream as much as you want. And realize Satoshi-kun will never come for you. You cornered him. You made him disappear. You killed him! <laughs> <sighs> After telling her all I'd been wanting to, I exhaled roughly. <clears throat> What's this? You don't feel anything in your right arm anymore? Okay, then let's use your left. <clears throat> I stabbed her left arm repeatedly, and her blood flowed out. But Satoko's reactions weren't fun anymore. She didn't cry or scream like she did before. That put me in a bad mood, so I stabbed the back of her left hand and twisted the knife again. But Satoko still just moaned. She didn't scream anymore. What's the matter? Are you stifling your screams in protest, thinking that I was enjoying your cries? <laughs> That's great! <laughs> Satoko was unfazed by my mad laughter. She looked at me with gritted teeth and resignation. Yes, I think that's the truth. Huh? I cornered Nini. That is why he disappeared. I've known that ever since the day he vanished. I wasn't Strong enough. I depended on Nini. I'm sure it was hard on him too. But I couldn't stop. You are absolutely right about that. I have no excuse. Satoko didn't sound as if she was mocking me or trying to please me. She spoke so naturally. Hmm. That's interesting. I never realized you were aware of what you'd done. Nini is coming back. He will come back someday. And when he does, I'm going to show him how independent I have become. I don't need him anymore. I won't hide behind him anymore. I'm going to show him that I really can live on my own. <laughs> when he comes back, huh? 
I stabbed Satoko's arm in a mad frenzy. But she still didn't even scream. She bit down tightly and swallowed her pain instead. Nini is coming back. I know he is. I'm waiting for him. And when he comes back, I will apologize for depending on him so much. So I won't give up until that day comes. I'll never depend on him again, ever. No matter what kind of hardships I have to endure, I won't ask him to help me. I won't call for help. I won't cry. I won't scream. If I cry, Nini will come for me. So I'm going to endure this by myself. Damn you. What do you think you're saying? If it is fun for you, go ahead. Stab me as much as you please. But if you think I'm going to cry for Nini, well, too bad. I will not cry. Ever. If you refuse to believe me, then try it. Nini is watching me. He is watching me endure this. He will see that I'm not like I was before. And when he sees that, he is going to come back. Come on, try it. I will not cry. Try to see how strong Satoko Hojo is. Shit, shit, shit! I'll show her! Take that, and that, and that! Nini, you're watching me, right? I've become so strong. This won't bring me down. This is... nothing. This won't make me cry. I won't cry for your help. I can endure this. I am going to endure this. This is nothing compared to what you had to go through for me. Shit, shit, shit! Why doesn't she feel the pain? Doesn't it hurt? There's no way it doesn't! I've been stabbing her so much, and the knife went in so deep! Her blood has poured to the ground, and I've been turning her flesh inside out! How can she still talk that way? Why doesn't she cry and scream? After Satoko said what she wanted to say, she shut her mouth. She didn't say a word after that. No matter how much I stabbed her, twisted the knife, tore at her, and ripped out her flesh, she didn't even make a sound. What in the world is this? This isn't the Satoko I know! Satoko was never as strong as this! If Satoko was this strong, she wouldn't have been a burden to Satoshi-kun. Why wasn't she as strong before? It's too late! Everything is too late! This idiot's maturity came far too late! Her blood made my hands slippery, and I dropped the knife. Special thanks goes out to my priests of the Hog and my elder Hog prophets. Adra, Chronaton, Eshock7, Greyman, Jonathan Hummel, Casey and Moore, Ventus Agri, and Xavier Pena. Thanks a bunch, guys. <laughs>